This is untouchable. What's up guys, we are back with the iPhone 12 news. Last time we talked about how Apple wants to get rid of one thing that we see inside the box of every smartphone on earth, that is a charging brick. The internet has been reacting to all of this. We have mixed opinions from both sides. This news came from a very reputable source, the ming Ko, the serial Apple leakster. And now we have something coming from Apple directly. I kid you not, they're actually doing a survey asking people what they do with their old iPhone chargers. The survey says that what do you do with the USB power adapter that came in the box with the iPhone 7 Plus that you replaced? Basically people who have upgraded over the years to different iPhone models and uh, Apple is kind of targeting them and asking them questions. They also make it clear that USB power adapter is different from the USB cable so these are two different things. They probably said this because Apple is still expected to bring the USB-C to light lightning cable out of the box. They're not going to remove everything and having this cable for connectivity makes sense. This means that you will still be able to charge your iPhone and connect it to your laptop, your MacBook Pro, or use any separate charger you have lying around at your house. At least there's still something coming with the box, so it may not be that bad of a deal for most of the people. Now I will talk about this later in the video, but let's talk about the exciting features that are revealed by Apple itself. And by that, I mean the iOS 14 software code revealing some of the great features of the upcoming iPhone 12 camera. There is going to be one area where Apple might be untouchable, unmatchable, just purely in its own league. The iPhone traditionally have the best camera for video recording, the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. They shoot amazing 4K video, max out at 60 frames per second, combined with probably the best low light smartphone camera video performance. There's even someone out there that recreated the nightmare on Elm Street movie scene. It was shot entirely on an iPhone 11. And honestly, this just shows how powerful everything is with Apple's video camera capabilities. Now with the iPhone 12, Apple could bring 4K videos to a whole new level with 4K at 240 frames per second and 120 frames per second option. This is all coming via iOS 14 beta software code, meaning that chances of this actually happening are really high. Apple is still set to stick with 12 megapixel camera, but a new sensor and also powerful video capabilities thanks to the Apple A14 5 nanometer beast inside. The iPhone 12 series will take better photos than any of the previous iPhones thanks to some state-of-the-art optics. According to ming Ko, Apple will get its camera lens optics this month. They're using seven element lenses compared to five on the iPhone 11 series. This will make the image quality better. Also, we have a rumor clash. Ice Universe recently said that Apple has the 120-inch display pretty much ready on the menu for the iPhone 12 devices if and only if there is no accident or issues. But yesterday, display analyst Ross Young has said that 120Hz refresh rate might not come with the iPhone 12 series. None of his sources were able to confirm this. So according to him, this is off the menu. We may still see the 60Hz refresh rate. Although iOS 14 has shown that there is a hidden option to change the refresh rate from 60 to 120Hz. So again, this is planned for the future iPhone were not fully confirmed. I will keep you guys updated if we get any good news. Now there's been a lot of talk regarding Apple removing the charger from the box. We have a bunch of different articles, but this major one from The Verge says that e-waste will be massively reduced if Apple takes this decision. It's going to be a big win for the environment. A lot of people already have chargers in their home. Personally, I've been using my Type-C Apple Fast Charger that I bought in 2018. Again, that's my situation. I know you may not have it, but generally, Generally, I think most people have chargers already, but for someone who's new to the Apple game, it might be unfair to them. But then again, iPhone 12 is rumored to start at $50 cheaper than the iPhone 11. So we're looking at $649 starting price for the iPhone 12, which I think is really, really insane. Of course, it will come with the cable inside the box, just not the charger. And again, you don't have to buy the charger from Apple. There are cheaper, fast charging options out there from various reputable brands. So there's this environmental angle, but then also Apple wants to do this because they want to go portless with the iPhone 13 next year. So let me know your thoughts about the iPhone 12 in the comment section below. Also in the news, 
Because OnePlus Nord, the affordable killer phone, has been revealed in this trailer. The design is like the Galaxy S10 Plus up front, 90 hertz AMOLED display, quad camera on the back. According to the CEO of OnePlus, the OnePlus Nord will bring flagship level camera to the mid-range affordable market, which means it's probably rocking some similarities with the upper OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro series this year, which I think is a great, great news. Now, as of now, OnePlus has confirmed that they will be launching this phone in India and Europe. We don't know the exact price but it could start at $300 or $330 but it's said to be extremely affordable and that is the most exciting thing about this phone. Uh, completely challenging the likes of iPhone SE and the Pixel 4a and Galaxy A51. If you guys are new here be sure to subscribe for all the daily tech coverage and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.